What's going on YouTube? Clayky's all back again with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video, and one of the characters that I have been wanting to get, a Neo Vision, has finally popped her little way out, and she looks so stinking cute. That's right, Sukiko is getting a Neo Vision version, and I don't know if you guys have like watched me in the past or have like seen my summon sessions, but every time a little Sukiko would pop out, I would say I really wanted her to be upgraded to get a new version of her because I just really like her design. It wasn't really her uh, abilities; they were kind of cool. They brought her. Around, like the uh, continuous damage you know after so many turns she was kind of one of the first units to do that uh, but I just think she looks amazing and she's gonna have an amazing banner she isn't gonna be like Titus um, she's gonna have one of those step ups where at the end you get a sick uh, vision card and this vision card is very good and has a bar on it which could be spelling signs for another Halloween unit of her maybe a little upgraded evoke damage or evo damage which seems like a trend right now we just got Yuna and now we're getting shrine maiden Sukiko but yes, uh, she's not going to be a premium unit. You can get her card on EX1. She, and her card actually seems pretty decent too. So overall, very excited. Hopefully she doesn't suck, but she is the COW unit, which means normally you got to get her and they're normally pretty good, right? Look at this transformation. Her cute little fox hanging out, like, you know, over here. It looks like it's taking a nap on her hand and then taking a nap on her little broomstick, which I guess kind of transforms into a... Staff kind of, I guess it's the same broomstick. Listen, they did great on the artwork. You know, guys know how I, I, I like the artwork here. So uh, I always like to look at that. So it's going to be great. That's going to be coming on the 15th. Um, and like I said, if we go look at her STMR and Trust Mastery reward, it's a lot of Evo damage. So, um, the the uh, the point of her is going to be one side, uh, as they said in a video, because they had the FFBE uh, live stream, if you didn't know that, one side is going to be like buffer and magic damage, and I think she's going to have like fire and earth elements. We can scroll on down uh, to look at the other ones. The other side looks to be, uh, it's magic, but it's evo damage on her brave shifted form, and it's going to be debuffing, okay? And she is going to be all about that, so... With the event going on right now, you need to make sure that you beat Sen, which he's, he's going to be around. It's not like you have to do it this week, but you need to beat Sen and get Yuna's necklace upgraded, um, the SDMR from the uh, the NV uh, Yuna, because it's going to be important to hear to put on Tsukiko because it's very, very strong. So her uh, SDMR is a magic 240 two-handed weapon, okay? Activated Chosen Priestess, Tsukiko, and Shrine Tsukiko. So you can still put it on the Ultra Tsukiko. I really like that. Uh, boost Magic 500 and Boost Parameters of Esper's Evoked by 50%. Uh, that's really okay. I don't think it's really anything too insane. Uh, the Magic stats are, are great, but I, it's just like, I, as I've come back into the game, I almost never use Magic Damage Dealing Units. I'm not saying I won't, so this could be great for them, but... I rank anything with magic lower, and it has always been like this in FFB, to be honest with you. Magic damage dealers uh, are always take second fiddle to physical or uh, even the um, hybrid damage dealers, you know what I mean? So that, you know, like Elena, and they did a fan vote in Elena 1. We might be getting a new Elena anyway. But scrolling on down, we also have Nine Tails of Vengeance, um, and that's going to give us uh, nullify magic reductions and boost magic by 60%, Evo damage by 50%. So this is going to be great to put on an Evo damage dealer. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty sure she's Earth, Fire, and I think she has another element, but I cannot remember exactly what it is. You guys can let me know in the comments below. She looks incredible. I hope she's really good. Uh, but this brings me to a point I want to talk about. They, they've said they're going to fix is when Japanese units come out, they are not as good as any of these global, uh, you know, exclusive units due to the fact they don't have any morale gauge boosting. They have no morale gauge damage. Uh, and so Titus, for example, I didn't even try to EX3 because while being really strong and in Dark Visions, he can do great things in other parts of the game. He's not going to be as strong as Shrine Maiden Tsukiko because she's going to be able to go in and whoop the cow's ass, right? <laughs> in cow, which speaking of Clash of Wills, I'm hoping that I finally get my first rank one in this one. Now we're going to try the problem I'm running into, guys. I did, uh, we'll talk about World of Visions or whatever in a minute for Final Fantasy X. I did rank one that one, and it was super fun. It took me a couple days to get it done, because I'm catching up, getting new STMRs, uh, TMRs, etc. But I'm having a problem with being able to activate all of the, uh, the EX star requirements to give them all of the things to get a rank one in Cal. So I'm still working my way up to make sure I can make a full team of good units that can beat Cal, but also have EX plus three, or, you know, close to it. I'm very close to that. I think I need a couple more EX3 units. Uh, we'll see what happens with this. But uh, we do have this new uh, unit, and I cannot remember this new enemy account. I cannot remember the name. Uh, it, this right here, and I don't know why this has been on my mind, Gorgonites. I don't know if anybody's seen Was it Toy Soldier or Little Soldier? The Gorgonites are here. Uh, anyway, the way this boss is going to work is it's going to uh, counter if it's not dealt fire, earth, or light damage. And maybe light was the other Sukiko damage that she does because she is made for this event. Uh, also... This is going to alternate physical.
physical and magical damage uh, reduction. So I'm not saying that you absolutely need an Evo damage dealer um, like Tsukiko to take it out. It's going to make it a lot easier because you don't have to worry about physical or damage uh, reduction. You know, you're going to have to really work around that with your teams, uh, but I'm sure that you could get a physical team to knock it down as long as its magic reduction was up instead of a physical, right? So I'm really looking forward to doing this because, and getting my first rank one, because this Clash of Will equipment for my returning players just got stronger. They actually buffed all of this stuff, and it was really insane beforehand. So yes, a lot of people out there without the Cal unit, without EX3 units, you can get to rank like 100. You can beat the rank 100 boss. Uh, it's not that hard. Or the level 100 boss, excuse me. But to get a higher rank, to get rank 1, to get more and more of this uh, uh, material that you need to exchange for the Clash of Will items, it's very important. So I'm going to be pushing this time. If it's not this time, then next time. I'm going to have to get it. I've been grinding the uh, Shard Dungeon to try to get enough EX3 people to make me be able to even unlock the chance to get rank 1. So that's what I'm going to be working on uh, coming up. So... There is a September Equipment Enhancement event, but they did mention that with the update that's coming next week, so not this week, but next week, we're getting an entirely new UI, uh, and they're changing the whole enhancement system where instead of your pots having actual inventory space and units, you have to keep clicking them, they'll all be converted to a point system. It looks really nice. If you have it, check it out on the uh, official live stream. It's going to make your life so much easier when it comes to enhancing your units, but they also mentioned that it, uh, weapon enhancement should be permanent, so I'm not sure if that means the end of these enhancement events uh, it'll be interesting because i don't know what they're gonna do when they throw these in here randomly uh talking about the neovision cards um speaking of also the ui update you guys are going to be able to pick on the ui update which neovision card is like showcased and it'll even play music if it has special music with it so it's really going to make the uh the uh home screen even more customizable and cool which is awesome but this is sukiko's card it goes up to magic 125 magic by 50 percent boost lb damage and evo damage okay and then uh, FFB units get 500. So sadly, somebody like uh, Yuna that has been powered up with their uh, crowns uh, and with their enhancements are not going to be able to use this card to the full because of the FFB unit down here. But the LB damage and Evo damage and magic might just be good enough to be the best card on her at this point. This Kindhearted Demon is going to be the one you get from that step up, and it is really, really strong. And then there's a bar looking awesome. Uh, boost Equipment of Magic by 200%. The, the, uh, when single wielding a weapon is in both hands, boost physical and magic damage. So physical and magic damage against Dragons and Fairies by 100%. Uh, and then it gives you actually Lightning Earth Resist. This is absolutely bonkers to me. Uh, and it just goes to show you these cards are like almost muskets in a lot of scenarios like you can get by with it but this makes your life a lot easier when you're building for multiple killers on a unit and this will go for physical and magic the only problem with this card is again it is very magic based so you're not getting any physical uh attributes out of it besides the killer so just be aware of that boost magic by 500 evo damage by 50 and parameters of s were evoked by 50 percent ffb unit only again so yuna sadly will not be able to take advantage of this card but uh, two very, very strong cards for Evo damage dealers, and then this killer right here is just insane. So make sure you guys pick that up. I, I think you go for it. I mean, hopefully a bar is good enough, but a lot of people should be going for that. I'm not going to go over any platinum chests. Uh, Clash of Wills equipment update, like I said, they're actually buffing. So, like, Attack of Magic with 90. Oh, that's really good. Well, now it's Attack of Magic 120! <laughs> it's, like, insane. They actually are buffing up all this equipment. Uh, so that's why returning players who have been kind of wary of Clash of Wills, I was like that for a little bit. Get in there and grind it. It is definitely worth it. This stuff is worth... It's like the best equipment in the game for sure. Um, and something you guys want to be getting your hands on. Now, I am pretty sure... Okay, they're not listing it here. Uh, so I'll just go back to the Ibarra... Or, no, excuse me, the Tsukiko uh, page here and talk about it. They have updates coming to... Uh, a couple of units in the game that will be like intrinsic abilities. So this is going to be just like what you got for um, Sky, for example. You know how you randomly opened up your uh, your uh, items, your gift box or whatever. They gave you a materia that you put on uh, Sky made her super powerful. Well, they're releasing those for more units. Uh, Not be the little Moogle uh, is getting one, for example. And you have to buy it with crowns, though. So they did mention that those crystals... Uh, those mystery crystals and the crowns would be used in some kind of ability upgrades. And it is turning out to, uh, strangely enough, be, you know, a little hindrance. Because when they gave us the free taste with Sky, which is insane. Intrinsic abilities are insane. But then now we're going to have to buy them. So be wary of using your crowns uh, because they're going to be for intrinsic abilities on other units. And who knows what kind of intrinsic abilities will come for different ones. Uh, before we end this video, because we have been talking about... Um, 
you know, all the kind of stuff going on with the events. I wanted to go to the footsteps of the High Summoner. It is the first event since returning that I've gotten rank one in. The Dark Visions event I didn't get to try because I was uh, on vacation. So I didn't really grind too much. I just did my dailies, etc. So I got in here. I got rank one. It took me a little bit. Listen, I know it's probably easy for a lot of you guys, but it feels good to get rank one. But there's something big I want to talk about here that a lot of people, a couple of my friends are actually missing. I had to tell them about it. Go to this page. If you've been grinding this, make sure you head down to the exchange, okay? Go to the exchange. There, it, It's King Mog. If you don't even want to go to this page, you can go into King Mog where we normally would change in a King Mog event. And there is a ton of items and stuff you don't want to miss out on from exchanging these things you get from grinding this event. There have been three or four people that have come to me and have been like, "I, where do I get the... Uh, the the uh the blue bandana or you know uh the uh medical arm guard because these are things i want to grind and level up you got to come to king mog and exchange look at all these items you can get so returning players who aren't used to this kind of event make sure you go spin look at this i've almost bought everything out in here because it's freaking awesome uh and make sure you spin this also another thing i want to talk about is i almost didn't do it myself because i was just grinding so much i'm still catching up make sure you max out the blue bandana the arm guard and the phantom ring there are other things you can max out by grinding this world of visions but I think these are the three things, and once this is gone, it's gone. You're kind of screwed. These are the three ones that are very, very good. The reason I bring that up is they have killer abilities added to them when you level them up. Um, and, you know, always get things that have killers on them. They are useful for the rest of the game going on out. And they actually have high stats on them as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and this ring also is very special, so you want to get that maxed out. But I just wanted to add that at the end. Before we get out of here again, I'm going to say that again. We're going to do a 10, uh, 10 pull, my free 10 pull, as long as it's still available. You guys can check it out. Yesterday, I got Kamari, the new NV version, because, you know, I'm amazing when I summon, so that's pretty cool. We'll see what we get today, and then I'm going to be heading out. Um, having a ton of fun playing this. I'm also playing Full Metal Alchemist JP version still every day. That game is bonkers, and I cannot wait for a global release. Hopefully, they announce something coming soon. That's going to be super fun. Uh, let's see here. And it's blue. Oh, yeah. But last time for Kimari, it was blue. And then there was an envy at the end. Da -da -da. Oh, it's the same, dude. Let's go. I need, okay, I need this to be like Sky or Kresnik or Kaito because I need to get them to EX3, please. Oh, no, dude. Close to Sky. The reason I say that is, you know, they were kind of like one of the first couple of uh, Cal NV units or whatever. Dang it, dude. Um, I mean, I've got a lot of her, so maybe that could be an option. Let's go look just real quick. I know some of you guys are probably already heading out of here, uh, but I, I want to show you guys how close I am on some of these units. So like I said, they're, they're really close to EX3. I need to get them there. So EX Awakening. We have Kaito is looking at, okay, he's got a while to go. My bad. My bad. He is not even that close. All right. But what about Roberta? She can make things happen. Okay. Not even close. Okay. Hold on. This is my team, by the way. I take into the dungeon. Sylvie should be like right there though. Okay, 20 more! <laughs> I should be able to get that by the end. Of, so she'll be one of my EX3s that I can take in. Sky's got to be close, too, to EX3. Come on. Ah, oh, god damn it, dude. God, I need some... Uh, do I have an NV ticket I can do on this freaking video? Oh, okay, Kresnik's not even close, dude. He might have to be taken out for somebody else. Good lord. Um, let's see if I have an NV. I, I don't know if I do. I don't... I summon these randomly. Uh, what I'm talking about is this. N I need one more! Okay, you guys are going to like what I'm going to do in this video, but for the video, and I f I'm feeling this energy, I'm going to buy one of these tickets. Oh, no, I can buy it for 1000 Okay, reset. It's cool. So I can buy that for 1000 That's going to give it to us. I was actually going to buy it for the more expensive price, and you guys would have been upset about that. I have a ton of tickets. Oh! Uh, for the people who have been here for me rambling so long, Nier is coming after Halloween, and there will be a special Halloween unit. So if you didn't catch that in the live stream, Nier will be coming after Halloween. So you have a while to save up um, till then. So let's see... All right, we need it to be uh, Sky. That's who I want. I want Sky. Sky's going to be around for a while. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whatever, dude. I tried my best. We got two NVs today, and they weren't the ones that I needed. So, hey, you know, we can, we can get this guy right here. Boom. Insect killer, baby. Anyway, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're excited about Sukiko. And if you got rank one in the event, I thought it was pretty cool that I, uh, for my first one, I got there. Subscribe for future content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.